welcome. In this video, we will show you a simple procedure to prime your Henny Penny Fryer filter pump. To determine if a filter pump needs to be primed, first, make sure that the pump motor turns on. Second, confirm that all components of the filter pan assembly are present, free of debris, and properly installed. And third, that there is suction at the pickup tube by placing your hand over it while the pump is running. If after checking the first two steps, you don't feel a suction at the pickup tube, then it is likely that the pump has lost its prime. The most common reason for this issue is that there is a leak in the pump seals. So this procedure will help you get up and running, but you might want to have the pump looked at by an authorized Henny Penny distributor or service agent. For this procedure, you will need a funnel, a half an inch quick connect hose clamp, about two feet of clear vinyl hose with half an inch in outside diameter, and cold clean oil. Word of caution, it is very important that you do not use hot oil for this procedure. Oil must be cool to the touch. Insert the hose in the funnel and secure it with the quick connect hose clamp. Make sure it fits snug to avoid leaks. The entire procedure should take no more than 10 minutes to complete. We will show you how it is performed in our forehead pressure fryer and our Evolution Elite open fryer. However, the same procedure applies to all of our fryers. Start by opening the return valve then disconnect the pickup tube from the standpipe tube by turning the dairy union in a clockwise orientation. Once disconnected, bring your funnel and hose and carefully insert it in the pickup tube. Once inserted, take a recipient with cold, clean oil and pour it down the funnel until you see the hose saturated with oil. Raise the funnel as you pour the oil to help it go down the pickup tube. Carefully shake the funnel to help the oil go down the tube. Once the hose is saturated with oil and no more oil goes down the tube, Proceed to turn the pump on. The pump will start running and slowly suck oil into the pump. At this point, the pump is getting saturated with oil so it can create a vacuum. Once the vacuum is created, you will see oil being quickly sucked into the pump. Allow for all the oil in the funnel and hose to be sucked in, then proceed to close the return valve and to turn the pump off. At this point, you can remove the hose and reconnect the pickup tube to the stem pipe tube by turning the dairy union counterclockwise. To start pumping oil seating in the drain pan, start by opening the return valve, confirm that the drain valve is fully closed, and then turn the pump motor on. Allow all the oil to return to the bath, then close the drain valve, and finally turn the pump motor off. Bring your funnel and hose and carefully insert it in the pickup tube. Once inserted, take a recipient with cold, clean oil and pour it down the funnel until you see the hose saturated with oil. Raise the funnel as you pour the oil to help it go down the pickup tube. Carefully shake the funnel to help the oil go down the tube. 
Once the hose is saturated with oil, go to the control and press and hold the F button to enter the filter menu. Press the program button until you see the option for fill from drain pan, then press the check mark button to select that option. And once again to confirm. The control will turn the pump motor on and the pump will start slowly sucking oil in until it is fully saturated. At that point, a vacuum will be created and oil will be sucked rapidly into the pump. Go back to the control and press the cancel button to turn the pump motor off. Press the cancel button two more times to exit the filter menu. Finish the procedure by removing the funnel and putting the drain pan back in place. Thank you for watching. For more videos, visit our website at www.hennypenny.com.